There are tons of vacuum videos on the internet. Here's mine. I have this um, wide mouth mason jar that mom had. I have this like $10 adapter that was very difficult to find for a short period of time. And I have $25 um, brake bleeder from Harbor Freight coupon. All right, so right now in that room, some soda. Good old Dollar Tree Shasta. It's actually cheaper to get Walmarts, but oh well. Nice warm soda. So the higher you fill it, the less air you need to pull out, and trust me, that makes a difference. lid you don't put on the screw top all right now let's get 25 the uh, 20 pounds of vacuum this is a good workout I don't know why people spend I don't know, five dollars on the noisy ones don't make your hands tired oh good wait it's not holding pressure dang it Well, it can't hold pressure until all the carbonation's out of the soda. So lots of people talk about doing this. For some reason I bought um, a transfer pump they had. <laughs> Way cheaper. Um, the thing is, this is made out of brass, and brass actually has lead in it. So you're not supposed to use this for food and beverage. One thing no one says is that since you're pulling air, I don't see what difference it makes. It's still not ideal. And the other thing is you attach the hose to this end. And then you have that hose going, you notice they're different. So this attachment's from um, the brake booster kit and the other hose is from the transfer kit. Um, that little tip doesn't stay in the jar adapter. <laughs> 12. When I first thought about doing this, I figured I'd have my brother do it. But as usual, it's much faster for me to do it myself. Go figure. Okay, I'm going for 15 now. Man, I'm gonna have some strong hands when I get tired of these. not holding. I think it's still point carbonation. Alright, so 15 and then yeah, you just watch it drop. Awesome. Let's see how it is. Have to pull out the hose first to break the vacuum. Yeah, that was not a good vacuum. 